Charles Augustus Lindbergh was still making aviation news headlines in 1933, as here with his wife, the former Anne Morrow, six years after his historic solo New York to Paris flight, Lindy was ready again to leave New York to make a vast aerial survey, a sweep of the North Atlantic to establish new ocean air routes. Lindy was America's favorite aviator at the time, and this near collision after his takeoff here made the country gasp when it was shown. However, Lindy and Anne survived to do their job. Once again, they are off on a trip to a secret destination with a mysterious object in view. It is understood that their present trip to Galway is for a survey of the coast, with a view to finding a possible landing ground for a transatlantic terminal airport in the Irish Free State. But are they contemplating a flight home to America across the Atlantic? Only Colonel Lindbergh and his wife know. Colonel and Mrs. Lindbergh are off again on their air travels round Europe after a brief seven day stay in Paris. Monsieur Pierre Coe, the French air minister, has come to see them off and their seaplane is drawn out of its hangar at Les Mureaux, the naval test base of the Seine about 30 miles from Paris. The flying pair seldom stay long in one place and they are leaving for Holland, though where they intend to fly next and with what particular object is not disclosed. The famous pilot supervises the lowering of his machine into the river where the takeoff is to be made. Transatlantic air service is becoming more than a visionary ideal, and on behalf of an American aviation company, Colonel and Mrs. Lindbergh have been surveying the northern route via Greenland, Iceland, and Scotland. Their seaplane is now taxiing across the waters of Copenhagen Harbour. <laughs> <laughs> 